So in Canvas, sometimes you need to be able to add uh, other people to your course, people who are not automatically added. Uh, another teacher to share things with or a student as a TA. So let me show you how to do that. Now, once you're in your course, on the course navigation menu, you'll see a thing for people. So add the people or click on people and you'll see a list of all your kids. Now me, I'm all lonely in this class. So I'm going to add, um, you might see all your kids, you might not depending on what stage you're at. I'm gonna add my son. Oh, he's a student. As a TA. Now, honestly, the best way to do this is to use their SIS ID. And you could just get that. It does not have the S in it in Canvas, but pull that in and then you're guaranteed to get the right kid. There's a few people in our school district uh, especially students who have the same name as other students and it gets confusing if you add it by SIS ID you won't have any issues now I don't want to add students this way but I'm gonna add a TA a TA can grade and uh, and help out with a few other things and so I'll add a TA and then I hit next it finds the person and then you want to just check it, confirm, is this the right person? Well, yes it is, so I'm going to add the user. So now he is a TA in my class. It'll pop up a thing that says, hey, will you join the class? And he could say yes. Now say I want to add a teacher. I'm going to hit plus, and I'm going to add a teacher. I don't know whose name can I spell. I'll add Aaron Dooley. He's all great. That time you want to add it by email. But I don't want to add him as a teacher. If I add him as a teacher, every time a student submits an assignment, it's going to pop up to grade that assignment on his to-do list. It's going to clog it up and it's going to be a pain in his butt. I also don't want him to be an observer because an observer can't see everything and an observer can't copy any of the stuff. If, if I want to share a test or if I want to share a page with him, uh, he can't be an observer so the thing he needs to be is a designer a course designer can uh, edit the test can not t well yeah if I've got a test in here they can edit the page they can do all that kind of stuff but they don't get all that student oriented all the student oriented information coming through and so if there's another teacher I want to add him as a designer and again I hit next and it looks for him and it finds him and then I just click add users now I'm not gonna click add users because I haven't talked to him I don't want to be too confusing I've probably already confused my son at any rate that's how you add um, add some other people to the course and that's that